about a six inch diameter log. What prevented me from being able to cut through this log here is this bolt here for this guard. So if you have smaller branches, four to six inches between this bolt and the back side here, then you can cut those branches with the guard. Otherwise, let's take this off and see if we can cut through that whole log there. The key is right here in the handle and you just loosen it up here. So just take the guard off and that way you don't have that bolt in the way when you're trying to cut through a log because it definitely prevented me from doing it. It is one handed operation. You just pull this trigger back and then you can have it like that. You can release that. The chain is quite loose. So we'll tighten it up a little bit. Another really interesting thing about this is that it has no oil reservoir. Which is very surprising because uh, you definitely need that. Now let's go ahead and take the battery out. Right here it shows you chain tensioning. You want to push the guide bar out to tighten the chain. Alright, so as you all can see here, we tightened it up again. Nice and snug, just a little bit of play here. Alright, pulling out about a half an inch from the guide bar. Now you don't have to take this off. The plastic cover was a little tight. This bolt was too tight, so I couldn't adjust the chain from this bolt here. So basically if you turn it to the right, it'll tighten it. Turn it to the left, it'll loosen it up. And again, I just do half turns until I get it to where I want it to be. We have three bars remaining. Let's see how many more we can cut. So far we cut four pieces out of this log here and we are at two bars remaining. Let's try a four by four and a two by six cedar. See how that does. Four by six. Two by six cedar piece of lumber here. Let's see how it does with this. Yeah, it cuts just fine. Alright y'all, well I hope that little unboxing and quick demo helped you see a little bit more and learn a little bit more about this Ryobi 8 inch brushed chainsaw. This was a deal that was uh, going on during Ryobi days at Home Depot. You would get two 4 amp hour batteries, a charger for 99 bucks, and then they would throw this uh, 8 inch chainsaw for free. There was different combination deals for $99, and this was one of the better deals for the bare tool. It cut through four of these uh, 6 inch diameter log pieces. It cut through the 2x6 cedar plank here. It cut through the 4x6 piece of lumber as well, no problem. We still have two bars remaining there. So you can, you can get plenty of work done around the house. I'd say for branches anywhere from four inches or smaller in diameter, this guy will do just fine. You wouldn't even have to take the guard off the front there for those smaller branches. It's a good deal because if you do need it for a little bit bigger branch like we were, what we were doing here, then this will be able to do the job if you do need it. But I think it'll be just more consistent and uh, more capable regularly with the smaller branches from three to four inches in diameter or, or smaller. Please leave comments in the description of the video if you have any questions or if you already own one of these and what you think about it and whether or not you're glad that you made the purchase in the Ryobi Days deals. And this just this does protect your knuckles and your hands but it is not a brake mechanism. There's no mechanism here to cause the chain to stop spinning or anything like that. Not bad weight. This chainsaw and two 4 amp hour batteries and charger was selected as a prize during our Saturday Night Mayhem live power tool tech giveaway. 
So I can't wait to be sending this on its way to him. So congratulations to you once again. I hope this video helped to get you a little more familiar with the Ryobi chainsaw. You can get some uh, limbs and branches and smaller logs cut around the home or on the job site. It's good to have backup maybe. It's more, I would say, light duty to medium duty type work. But it got the job done. Everything I went to cut, it was able to do it and it did it just fine. Never locked up on me. Very capable 8 inch uh, chainsaw in my opinion. And for $99, if you can get it for that price where you get two 4 amp hour batteries with it, if you can have this in your truck or your van or your vehicle as a backup uh, chainsaw for emergency situations. As always, looking for the best tools, tech, DIYs, and deals for you. Until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours.